Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to the review of Disobey, the debut studio record of the band Bad Wolves. Today we're celebrating the 5th anniversary of the record, so I decided to go back and see if it still holds up or not. My story with this band is quite simple. I've been following their endeavors since 2017, basically since the first single, because I was interested in their music because the band members are from different bands. Here's the lineup for this record, we've got Tammy Vexed on the vocals, before this band he was in Divine Heresy, great stuff, Westfield Massacre, also great stuff, I think he was also in Snat at some point, and his solo band Vexed. Doug Coyle, the lead guitarist here, is from the band God Forbid. Chris Kane, the rhythm guitarist, played on one of the records by the band For The Fallen Dreams, I think. Kyle Conkill was in In This Moment. And John, the drummer, he was the songwriter and drummer of the band Devil Driver. So basically this is a super group because every band member is from other well-known respected band. The production on the record is tight, it's clean but heavy, no loudness or no clipping. Two songs have different production from the rest of the record. I don't know why and I don't enjoy their production, but I'm going to talk about it later. Message is diverse, songs are about various topics, police brutality, anti-religion, addictions, politics, society, stuff like that. Structure of the tracks is standard intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, outro, so it's basic. And the music is a mix of groove metal, heavy metal, gent, and some more mainstream rock music. It depends on the song. The record starts with the song Officer Down, one of the heavier songs here. The first thing you're going to notice about this band is the drumming. John is killing it. He's a legend. His double bass work is amazing. He can blast beat, he can groove, he can play fast or slow, he can do it all. I think he's the most talented person here because I just love the drumming on every single song. He's giving us his best. Next is the bass. It's audible and it mostly follows the guitars. Nothing special here. Then we've got the guitars. We get some genty chunky riffs here, some groovy ones some more melodic lead guitar work, it depends on the song, the guitarists are also killing it. And finally we've got the vocals by Tammy, he has a very distinct voice, you can always recognize him. I love the strength of his singing, but I prefer his unclean vocals, you know, so screaming and growling, he's killing at that, I just love that stuff. The singing, well, it depends on the song, when it comes to this record, most of the singing by him is beautiful and I enjoy it, but some of it kinda gets on my nerves. When it comes to this song Officer Down, I enjoy every single vocal line he does. It's just perfect here. The instrumental work is astonishing as well. This is a masterpiece. Great start to the record, 10 out of 10. Learn to Live continues that heavier style of Bad Wolves music. This song was released as a single with a music video. I love it, but not as much as the previous song. The chorus gets kinda boring after hearing it thousands of times, because I did listen to this song quite a lot since the release. I still enjoy every single thing about it. It's just sometimes a little bit too much for me. 9 out of 10. No Masters is a song where problems arrive. Some of the vocal lines in the verses are not for me, they kinda damage the song, because I do enjoy the instrumental work. But I have to say that the chorus is just beautiful. The chorus is the best part of the song. I still think this song is nice, and it's not bad by any means, I just don't like some of the vocals. Still, great song. 7 out of 10. Zombie, the Cranberries cover. Now this is the most recognizable song on this record. It basically made Bad Wolves famous. The vocalist of the Cranberries was supposed to be featured here, but sadly she died on the day she was supposed to go down to the studio to sing with Tammy. It's tragic, rest in peace, and I must say that this cover is nice, but I feel like it's slightly overproduced. There is different production here than on the rest of the record. It's much more radio friendly. The whole song sounds good. It fits the radio, 
but I feel like it doesn't have the same power as the original. The vocals by Tammy, great stuff, but you know, overall I just enjoyed the original more and I feel like this song doesn't fit this album, because most of the tracks are more groovy and you know metal and this one is, you know, like a single for radio. 7 out of 10. Run For Your Life is kinda similar to No Masters, I love the instrumental work, but some of the vocals, not for me. The chorus here is fine, I prefer the verses. It's a good song, but it could have been better. 7 out of 10. Remember When is a song about Tammy's twin brother, who tried to kill him. I love when music is real, and this song is about a real tragic story. So I love the music here the vocals, just everything. It's a perfect song, you know, this is also a single and it's much more radio friendly, but you just feel the emotions in Tammy's voice and it's their own song, it's not like zombie, like it's a cover. I just love it. 10 out of 10. Better the Devil is one of the highlights of the record for me, it's my favorite song here. I love the heaviness of the instrumental work, the chunkiness, the gent parts, just so heavy and memorable. Next are the vocals. Tammy is killing it here. No, 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 no. It's just so fast with his pronunciation and you understand everything he says and there's power and emotions behind his voice. This is a legendary song. 10 out of 10. Jesus Slaves has the best intro on the entire record. I just love it. It's gentle, it's do, 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 do. And the drummer is just killing it. John, what are you doing here? This is perfect. I love the vocal performance here, how Tammy switches between unclean vocals and singing, and everything lands perfectly. This is another masterpiece. 10 out of 10. Hear Me Now, featuring Diamante, or however you pronounce her name, or whatever. This is the worst song on the record. I have no idea how this was even released. I only enjoyed the bridge part. And fun fact, I especially do not enjoy Diamante. Her voice is just so overproduced. The whole song is overproduced. I actually heard a version without her, and it's way better. It's still not perfect, and I still do not enjoy the song, but at least there's just Tommy there. So yeah, this is 3 out of 10. I wish this song was removed from the record because it hurts the flow. Truth or Dare, now this is my second favorite song on the record, I love the verses, the vocals, Tammy is killing it with his singing, that chorus, that chorus is just so good, one of the most memorable parts from the record, it's just so fun to listen to, I could listen to this song all day, because everyone is doing their job perfectly. 10 out of 10, I could say the same exact thing about the conversation, amazing lyrics, vocals, drumming, guitar space, such a good song, yet again, the chorus is so powerful and memorable, you cannot forget this song. 10 out of 10, Shapeshifter, now this is a track where yet again problems emerge when it comes to the vocals, some of them do not fit the music, the music is perfect, it's heavy, it's straight to the point, it's groovy, and what does Tammy does here? He sings, he screams, but I just don't feel it. He could have done a better job with this song. It's 8 out of 10. And then finally we got Toast to the Ghost. This song was probably the first one released from Bad Wolves, I think. I might be wrong about that. 2017 and 18 is kinda cloudy for me. I don't remember those years that well. But I must say, yet again, the instrumental part of the song is flawless. The structure is basic, but the music is not. Actually, the drumming and guitar work is fairly technical here on this record, on half of the songs, this one included. The vocals just aren't that great. Some of the vocal lines do not fit the music. 8 out of 10. And now we have 3 bonus tracks from the vinyl edition. I think I swear was also on Japanese edition. You can find this song on YouTube, don't worry. I swear is a masterpiece. How this was left out of the standard edition is beyond my comprehension. Amazing vocal performance by Tammy is giving us his best. 
Singing, beautiful. The chorus, magnificent. Screaming, on point. The instrumental work, same as the vocals, flawless. 10 out of 10, Pacifico. Now this track is much more mellow and melodic than I swear. But yet again, Tammy is killing it on the vocals. His singing, screaming, everything works, same as the instrumental work. 10 out of 10, Blood and Bone. Now this song isn't as great as the previous two ones, but I still love it. It's heavy, it's straight to the point, it's fun when it comes to the instrumental work. The vocals by Tammy, they are mostly great. I think like one line didn't sit well with me, but besides that, hell yeah. The instrumental work, while not as interesting as in I swear, still is great. So yeah, this is one of the highlights of the record as well. 9 out of 10. To sum it all up, the consistency is various and the flow is disrupted, replayability, yeah, it's a great record. I almost enjoy everything here, except that goddamn awful Hear Me Now song. If it were up to me, I would slightly alter the tracklist, I would remove Hear Me Now completely, replace it with I Swear, and replace Zombie and Run For Your Life with Pacifico and Blood and Bone. Zombie and Run For Your Life aren't bad songs, they are good, but I feel like Zombie doesn't fit this record. And Hear Me Now, as I said before, is just a bad song that I don't enjoy at all. If those changes were made, it could have been an excellent record, but what we've got is great. It's okay, I enjoy it. It's the best Padwolves record by far. I think they will never tap this one, but they are welcome to try. Great vocals by Tammy, amazing guitar work, the drumming is flawless, and the bass is also there. <laughs> so, so yeah, celebrate the anniversary by spinning this record today. It deserves your love and attention. That's all from me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram, links in the description. I will see you in my other videos. Bye!